the recommended cholesterol levels by age. What are the recommended cholesterol levels by age? Our body functions like a machine, and the longer it gets weaker. At the same time, according to that, due to the external environment. And what loaded the body are not immune from harmful things. Since then, internal organs have also increased the bad substances and damage gradually. Thus, we can see that the majority of people with heart disease often have a very high age, young people are very rare. However, recommended cholesterol levels by age is for reference only. The fact that you have dangerous complications of high cholesterol is still research that gives scientists a headache. About cholesterol. Cholesterol is a fatty substance your liver makes. It's also found in certain foods. Your body needs some cholesterol to function properly. But having too much of the bad type of cholesterol, LDL, puts you at risk for having a heart attack or stroke. Meanwhile, cholesterol in your bloodstream can build up in blood vessel walls, causing blockages that can lead to reduced blood flow to the heart and increased risk for heart attack. Decreased blood flow to the brain and increased risk for stroke. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, having high cholesterol raises your risk for heart disease. Your total cholesterol level is the overall amount of cholesterol found in your blood. Specifically, it consists of Low-density lipoproteins, LDL High-density lipoproteins, HDL Triglycerides LDL or bad cholesterol because it blocks your blood vessels and increases your risk for heart disease. Meanwhile, HDL or good, cholesterol because it helps protect you from heart disease. The higher your HDL, the better. Finally, total cholesterol includes a triglycerides count. These are another type of fat that can build up in the body and are considered the building blocks of cholesterol. High levels of triglycerides and low levels of HDL raise your risk for heart disease. Recommended cholesterol levels in children. Children who are physically active, have a healthy diet, are not overweight, and don't have a family history of high cholesterol. They have a lower risk of high cholesterol. Current guidelines recommend that all children have their cholesterol checked between ages 9 and 11, and then again between ages 17 and 21. Children with more risk factors, such as having diabetes, obesity, or a family history of high cholesterol. They should be tested between the ages of 2 and 8 and again between the ages of 12 and 16. Cholesterol chart for children. According to the JACC, the following are the recommended cholesterol levels for children. All values are in milligram per deciliter. Recommended cholesterol levels in adults. The American Heart Association recommends that all adults have their cholesterol checked every four to six years. To greater than starting at age 20, which is when cholesterol levels can start to rise. As we age, cholesterol levels tend to climb. Men are generally at a higher risk than women for higher cholesterol. However, a woman's risk goes up after she enters menopause. For those with high cholesterol and other cardiac risk factors, such as diabetes, more frequent testing is recommended. Cholesterol chart for adults. According to the 2018 guidelines on the management of blood cholesterol, published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology, JACC, these are the acceptable, borderline, and high measurements for adults. All values are in milligram per deciliter, milligrams per deciliter, and are based on fasting measurements. Lifestyle changes to get the cholesterol you need. The good news is that lifestyle changes are reasonably effective in helping you to reduce cholesterol levels. They're also fairly straightforward and can be done at any age. Changes include Exercise Physical activity can help you lose weight and boost your HDL cholesterol. Aim for 30 to 60 minutes a day of moderate cardiovascular exercise such as biking, jogging, swimming, and dancing, at least five times a week. Eat more fiber. Try to add more fiber to your diet, such as replacing white bread and pasta with whole grains. Eat healthy fats. Healthy fats include olive oil, avocado, certain nuts. These are all fats that won't raise your LDL levels. Limit your cholesterol intake. Reduce the amount of high-saturated fatty foods, such as 
cheese, whole milk, high-fat red meats. Quit smoking. Smoking decreases HDL cholesterol. So, if you smoke, quitting can help you better manage your cholesterol levels. It's important to remember that everyone is different. Family history and whether or not you have other conditions, such as diabetes or obesity, play a role in your individual risk. Moreover, talk to your healthcare provider about your cholesterol levels and ask what they think your numbers should be. The key is to have normal cholesterol levels throughout your lifetime. Discover how to quit smoking naturally. Link in the description. Limit your alcohol intake. The American Heart Association recommends drinking alcohol in moderation, which means, on average, no more than two drinks per day for men, and no more than one drink per day for women. Drinking too much alcohol can raise levels of triglyceride fats in the bloodstream and lead to conditions, such as hypertension, high blood pressure, atrial fibrillation, seven days to drink less online alcohol reduction program. Link in the description. Lose weight. Losing excess body weight can help to lower your cholesterol levels. To lose weight, here are a few tips. Try to make healthy dietary changes and focus on portion control. Choose lean proteins, whole grains, fruits, and vegetables. Limit unhealthy fats, processed foods, and sugary snacks. Try to add more physical activity to your weekly routine to increase your calorie burn. So the number of calories you're consuming is less than the number you're burning. Refer to news, weight loss, to find you an appropriate, safe and effective way to lose weight. All in 247naturalhealthtricks.com, visit now. Tips for recommended cholesterol levels by age. Depending on the age that energy intake and supplement will be different. But be wise in every decision to change your health. Pay attention to the saturated and trans fats on your food labels, as well as added sugars. The less of these you consume, the better. No more than 10% of your daily calories should come from either saturated fats or added sugars. So, don't worry about eating enough cholesterol. Your body makes enough whether or not you consume it. Note. Understand the causes and prevention of the disease so that you can promptly treat the signs and symptoms of the disease. The purpose is to solve your problem. So be open and ready to experiment. At the same time, choose your strategy, take action and start enjoying the benefits. Reference. The One Food Cholesterol Cure. Two months free solution. Or visit 247naturalhealth.com to all chronic illness information. Link in the description. In particular, if you know Qigong and its miraculous improvements to health, visit falandafa.org. Thank you. I hope you are always happy and healthy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to receive useful information.